All right, guys, so I wanted to create this video on diabetes and talk about the stats and where it's trending uh, worldwide. It's completely getting out of control. China, for example, uh, 150 million people in China, it's 11% of the population, has diabetes right now. Uh, 493 million are pre-diabetic. In America, we have 300, roughly about 300 million people. Well, they have of course, they have a billion people, but still it's 493 million people. China has the most diabetics of any country in the world. And then we get to India, which has 69 million people being diabetic. That's 7.3% of their population with 77 million pre-diabetic. Then we have Saudi Arabia, 3.8 million people in the country, but that's 18.5% of their entire population are diabetics. That's, that, that's basically of any country, they take number one for the most percentage of their population being diabetics. Mexico, 13 million people have diabetes. That's 14.8% of their entire population. And diabetes in Mexico is the leading cause of death. Then we have the US, 30 million people in the US have diabetes. That's 9.4% of its population and 84.1 million are pre-diabetic. Completely and utterly unnecessary. So there's four main tissues that are affected when you have high sugar, okay? Uh, the eye, so you have damage to the, the retina, the heart, okay, and the blood vessels, the kidney, uh, and then you also have the nervous system, the peripheral nerves in your feet, in your fingers, as well as the central nervous system in your brain is affected. You start developing Alzheimer's, um, Parkinson's, and even increase your risk for cancer. So let's go to the experts again, the American Diabetes Association, to find out what we can do to prevent type 2 diabetes. It says, how can I delay or prevent type 2 diabetes? Like, I don't know why I want to delay it. I want to just actually prevent it. All right, there's really only three things you need to do, uh, which I'm, I'm glad they're keeping it simple. Uh, daily physical exercise, uh, such as walking. Okay, good. Number two, weight loss. You just need to lose weight. All right, number three, medication. Okay, guys, if you just focus on those three things, then you can hopefully delay your di diabetes. What are they missing in here? Uh, the reduction of carbohydrates. It's not on here, I don't know why not. Well, let's go to the link on their site to the eating plan. Here it is right here. Um, this is what your plate should look like. You have the vegetables. Don't forget your healthy oils like canola and um, vegetable oil like corn and soy. But don't do the saturated fats, okay? Plenty of fruits, okay? And by the way, um, you can also use juice as a fruit substitute, okay? That has actually probably more sugar than anything else, even like soda. Um, but look at this right here, guys. Whole grains. Why would you even recommend whole grains if you have diabetes? First of all, they turn into sugar, okay, and it's gonna spike your blood sugar. Secondly, they're loaded with lectins. I'm gonna do a separate video on this, which will increase inflammation and all sorts of other additional problems that relate to spiking your blood sugar and causing insulin resistance. Um, but yeah, like one fourth of your plate should be whole grains. Unbelievable. And it says limit refined grains. It doesn't say eliminate it. It says limit your refined grains like white rice and white bread. Choose fish, poultry, beans, and nuts. Limit red meat and cheese. Avoid bacon, cold cuts, and other processed meats. All right, guys, there you have it. If you want to delay diabetes, go ahead and follow this plan. If you want to avoid it in the first place, click the link down below and learn what food you need to eat. All right, I'll see you next time. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, 
images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book, um, more extensive, called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning, it goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you, within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.